Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel again and as you can see on the screen today we are going to talk about whatsapp clone okay i know that i created this project uh, years back like uh, two years ago or something and uh, you know i haven't updated this repository from a long time so that's why there were so many errors so finally if you'll go to github and you will find this flutter whatsapp clone the link is already in the description you will see that i have fixed so many errors in in this project now today in this video i'm going to talk about how to implement story view or status view in this particular uh, whatsapp clone obviously the idea of this particular video is not about creating exactly what we what whatsapp uh, is on android and ios because i'm using as you can see an, an uh, ios simulator but the screen is kind of very similar to how it looks on i and uh, android not in ios because ios uh, follows like whatsapp follows uh, human uh, interface design on uh, ios and material design on android so it's it's very different but the idea is that learning that how we can create these kind of designs so today we are going to implement the story view and that's the idea and as you can see we have this dummy screen where we have status calls you know and these these are blank so this status we are going to fill today and on chats is there and then there is a camera as well now this is what we are going to create L let me just show you so this this is how it will look like you know there will be my status section although this is not working but uh, the design would be something like this if you will compare it with your original whatsapp it will be very similar and then there will be viewed updates and there will be some updates this is all hard coded as of now but once i will click on this update then uh, you should see something like this where there will be tab indicators on the top and then there will be image gif or text whatever you want to show so that's the idea and let's focus on that only so now if you really want to see the code i will just suggest that just download it from github the link is in the description just clone it and you will see many things like you know there will be this new keyword everywhere because i wrote this code a long time back and today we are gonna do some new changes here but before proceeding i saw that you know this floating action button is there all the time and i don't want to show it on other screen apart from chats so first of all what i'll do in the tab controller i'll add a listener first and uh, this listener i'll check the index if you know this tab controller okay one second guys okay so what we will do we will check that whether the index of one second what's happening okay so the index if it is one then only we will um, show this fab which is the uh, floating action button then we will make it true and otherwise we will make it false okay show fab is equal to false and then we can just set the state this is the idea now we will create this boolean where we can say show fab by default it will be false and then here i can just use this boolean if it is then uh, show the floating action button otherwise just do nothing so null and you can see uh, for the first time it will behave differently but just do a hot restart and then uh, okay by default it is not listening so and we have by default this tab as our first tab if i'm not wrong yeah so initial index is one so that's why let's make it true by default and yep so by default we want to see this because the initial index is one so now you will see this particular now if i'll move to status you will see it is gone on calls it is gone and on chats it will be back okay and there is there is some animation which is already done by floating action button so that's the idea now i'll go to the chat screen or uh, status screen you can say it is story screen or status screen whatever you want to say now in the status screen part we can see we don't have anything like that right what we wanted to show like this is what we wanted to achieve and uh, this is what we have right so what i'll do i'll uh, just remove this part and i'll start with a container okay and then because i want to um like you know give it some color so let's try to give it a gray color just for the just for checking that everything is fine yes now here what i'll do in the child section i'll probably add a column okay and uh, then i will give is cross axis alignment dot start and then in the children section we will start with uh, let's say a card 
okay and let's give it a color of uh, white and then what we will do we will give it a child um, where what we can do we can add something like um, um, in the child we can add something like list style okay because list style can be very helpful for us and then the elevation would be zero and there in the list style in the leading part we will add a stack and then in the stack part we will add some children and in the children we need the circular image view so circle avatar we will give the radius let's say 30 and background image we want to show something like uh, you know network image and here we can show a url avatar kind of url right so i'll go to google i'll search a profile avatar or no image avatar rather no image avatar and if i'll search this then there will be so many avatars here i'll select any of this this would be fine let's see oh this is not what we want one second guys um no avatar so there are so many avatars you can select any of them like uh, we can select this one and yep this is a gif oh we don't want gif as well okay so let's select uh this one maybe let's try which one works for us this should work but it's totally your call i mean i want something whitish right and uh, okay this so there are many avatars i don't know exactly which one would look good but yeah this is fine so i'll copy this one and i'll paste it here and you can see we have this avatar now now what i want um i want to give some padding as well so here what i can do um i can add padding something like this oh no we don't want the padding here the list style is fine this is fine so circle avatar or this stack we want some padding here or maybe here let's try this yeah this is looking fine as of now and uh, yep this looks pretty good as of now circle avatar is fine now after this circle avatar uh, what i would want i would want to give uh, use here the positioned widget and in the bottom i can uh, like write this on right 1.0 in the child part we will use a container where we will have um, let's say height of 20 width of 20 and then um, in the child we can use icon and we can add icons dot add this is the icon which we want and i will give it a color of white and then the size would be let's say 15 and you can see there is a plus icon now right so something like that we will do and now because it is done um let me just give the color from gray to something like 0xff f f uh, 1 1 2 1 2 1 2 something like this now oh, this is very bad f two one two one two one how it will look okay f f one two f f one two something like this so there are many colors we can play with like i um f one two f one two oh this is red so i don't remember exactly what color we use on whatsapp but then it was supposed to be something like um, um, F2, F2, F2. Yep, this is this is fine. This is the exact color which I was looking for. Something like this is on WhatsApp. Now we have this status bar and container and all that. Now uh, in the container part, I will use this uh, decoration and I can give box decoration and uh, you know, I can give the color as well so for color i can use this greenish color okay yep and then i will give it a shape so box shape dot circle so this is what i want to show and guys this icon is still weird because you know it's it's cutting somewhere so what we can do either we can uh, uh, we can try with 
maybe let's remove this from here rather than background image what if we use image dot network okay then maybe it will look better but it's covering all the things fit um box fit dot cover now nah, it's not working fine that was better because we want it to cover the entire background not just that so maybe we can try with this okay maybe it looks good yeah this is also good let's change it yeah this is better this is much much better than what we were getting okay so this is what we have now in this list style i will add this title where i will say text uh, my status okay and then uh, i want to give it a text style where i can just give the font weight to bold something like this right and then in the subtitle part i can just say um tap tap to add status update something like this and it looks pretty good now after this particular card i can again um, add a text and i can say viewed updates Up updates yep yeah. viewed updates this looks good and then i can give it some style uh, where um, i can specify the color as gray and then font weight that should be dot bold okay this is looking better now i will add some padding here as well and it looks much much better now what i'll do i'll uh, after this padding or after all of this i will use a widget called expanded and in the expanded widget i'll add a child as container and then i'll give it a padding okay so const padding as in sex dot all and let's give it a padding of 8 and then we can also give it a colors let's say give it white color only which is looking good now here in the child part we will add a list view where we will have some children so right now we are going to have just one children i'm going to copy this list tile from here and i will just copy and paste it here so that we can save some time now rather than this stack i just need this circle avatar so i'll remove this stack and i'll leave this circle uh, like this circle avatar i'll change the name like pavan kumar and i will add something let's say today um 2016 pm let's say and this is what we wanted to achieve right this is this is the exactly uh, replicate of what we wanted now we will add one more page here and i will name it story page view dot dart and here first of all i will import material dot dart and then it will be a stateless widget so story page view okay now uh, what i want to do I will add one library here which is the main idea of this particular uh, application. I will add a dependency called story view and this is the plugin story views 0 0.10.0 is the version number as of now and now what I want when I click on this particular um, you know Pavan Kumar tab in this particular list style so i will add here on tap when i i will click here what i want i would uh, i would use my navigator to push to this material page route which i just created material page route and uh, here i will give the builder context and then i can write story page view okay so this is what i want to do now in the story page view we don't have anything as of now but what i will do first of all i will create a controller here so controller and it will be story controller so you will get this with this plugin which i just added so story controller is there now i also want 
list of story items okay um, story items so maybe we can use um, story item dot see so we have this thing uh, called text we can add text like title background so for title let's say um, hi okay and for background color let's say colors dot red similarly we can use something like story item dot uh, inline image or page image whatever you want to add so let's start with the page image it needs a network image uh, so you can use asset image as well but because we are fetching from network so i'll go here i'll um, let's write images and let's pick any of these images this is the image which i was using earlier so just open link um, open image in new tab just copy this particular image and paste it here and then if we want to add any gif then also we can add it so story item dot page gif this is also one option so we can specify the gif url so um let's say we say gif and uh, this is a gif okay this is a nice gif okay and this let me just copy this gif okay it's it's a very different gif than what i was expecting okay so this is actually the gif i don't know if it will work but let's try this and yeah we are done now this is what we have now rather than con uh, returning container we can just return story view it will ask for a uh, controller so controller is there uh, let me see what it takes okay story items is the first thing which it wants so story items controller we have the controller and then um, we can say inline if we want it uh, on the full screen view and then uh, we can repeat we can say true now let's click on it and you can see this is curling high which is the first one and the second one is this image which looks good and the third one is not working i guess because this gif is actually not correct which i was expecting because this gif is a weird gif or maybe this is not the gif which we wanted so maybe let's try some other gif open image in a new tab yeah this is fine i guess and let's add this and yep this is fine this is fine and uh, this is fine this is loading actually so if you'll see this is working somehow <laughs> but uh, the gif is not loading somehow i i don't know and let's wrap this particular story view with material so that we don't get this uh, underline below high and this is looking perfectly fine now i'll do just a hot restart so that we can uh, fix everything which was wrong and now if i'll move to status if i'll click on pavan kumar this is high this is the image and this is the gif which was supposed to load it's still not loading i don't know so there are some problems with the gif so let's let's drop the idea of adding the gif but yeah this is how you will add things if i want to add a image fit then i can say box fit dot contain maybe it fixes it or let's say so this is how you will add stories this is how it looks like on whatsapp and that's the idea of this entire video that how you can add something like this and when you will run it uh, the release mode then it works pretty good i am using it on uh, ios it can have some issues but on android it works perfectly fine and that's been the idea and because this plugin is still in very early stage so there can be few bugs as well so that was the idea i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then like the button or uh, subscribe to the channel if you are following mtech viral for flutter tutorials also press the bell icon if you want to get future updates and uh, and i'll see in the next video with more flutter tutorials please like this video if you want these kind of contents in future and i'll post this code on github so check it out from there bye bye take care and i'll see in the next video